we will. And you all have to please on it. You're not going to have to Okay. So we're going to. So we're going to get high off this. We don't have any. Is it? Is it? Is it transparent? It's invisible. It's invisible. Imagine. Good Lord. For those of you who don't know what moksha is, moksha is about the singularity that is all of us. And the only, the greatest illusion in the world that we live in today is that we are separate. We are one soul and we are beautiful individual facets of that soul. We polish each other to become one shining diamond. And that is what moksha is about. Unity, community, art and creation. We are made in God's image in the sense that we are the only creation in God's creation, in earth, in the spirit's creation, that can create and destroy. So may we always create and never destroy until time takes that away from us. Please, Amanda, if you could, unveil our new Moksha family symbol created by the beautiful Amanda Sage. Wait, you want to explain, Amanda, a little bit? You got that mic. I think it's kind of funny when people, when you, people ask you what you do and to describe your art. I'm always like, why don't you just look at it? We should just look at it before <laughs> I it. This body light hole. Ah, uh, OK. I'm a hard spot. Can you guys help her? Hold it up. Yeah, there we go. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so thank you, Moksha. Thank you, everybody. Yes, it was a, it's a great honor. First of all, thank you, Ray. Thank you, Moksha family, for asking me to do this. Um, hmm. I, um, it's a piece that really fits into my work at the moment, too, which kind of was surprising in a sense and also not. I, I think everything is interwoven and they all have messages and... I started this painting in Vienna um, about a month ago, and it's traveled with me as a scroll kind of through probably about eight countries. <laughs> and uh, just found completion about a day and a half ago. And I've had, there, there's some paintings that just flow right out of you, and they're very profoundly um, present immediately. And this one took a lot of layers I like to work in a lot of layers, and this is, it's very cosmic, I think, very, um, yeah, very, very cosmic space beyond. I, I, I feel like it fits, there, there's, a, uh, there's a series kind of of paintings that I've been doing, the, the, the watcher, the seer, the healer, the oracle, and they're all paintings that have just kind of happened. And they're kind of archetypes and versions of myself, in a sense. So in a way, they're self-portraits. And this one, I feel like, is the shaman. And um, it happened. 
I don't know, I didn't have a whole lot of intention behind the guidelines that the Moksha family gave me. And I feel very good about it. The symbols that came in the cap of the mushroom, um, they're all, I didn't plan them at all, they just came through and inspired by all kinds of things. So, yeah, thank you. <laughs>